Guys, gals, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name's Luke at Hotshot. I hope everyone's doing okay today. Uh, we're here restarting uh, our Sparta Let's Play. Uh, simple as that. I I um, basically messed up, obviously, I told you to be patient with me, um, as I am a new player to play in Total War. Um, let's have a look at these. Complete... All your steps in your hero's epic mission train. 12. Uh, destroyed or confederated. Capture Helen. Hold two settlements, including the following. I'm going to do a Homeric victory this time. Maybe maybe that has um, a different impact on, on the Let's Play. But yeah, let's, let's get it, guys. Are we mere playthings of the gods? Or do we plead divine influence to justify our foolish choices? He's taken her! He's taken my wife! You've risked the safety of Troy. Troy is my home now. You have my oath, brother. She will be returned to you. Brother, I can fight! Go. Seek shelter. There'll be plenty of fighting ahead. Helen's flight was a grave wound to Achaean pride. King Menelaus will have his revenge. And his brother will have his war with Troy, just as the gods intended. So yeah, uh, just restarting, basically, I did mess up the last series, but it'll be still in the same playlist, and I will make it clear to you guys that I'm restarting the series. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, hopefully, we can do better than five episodes <laughs> hear me fear famed menelaus brazen prince paris of troy has dared to steal your wife paris of troy must pay gold rich mycenae ruled by your brother agamemnon will support your cause troy thinks to slight me but they will pay them as well as exacting vengeance upon Troy, other matters demand your attention. Open rebellion has devastated the region of Aetis, where a pretender is trying to take power for himself. South of Aetis, mighty Tyrins holds Kithara Island, blocking your access to the treasures of Crete, which are beyond imagination. Consolidate your power at home. Urge Helen's suitors to honor the oath of Tyndarius in your defense. And wage war on the perfidious Trojan princeling. So, so yes. Um, defeat the Renobum rebels. And also we had an issue with food. Hopefully I'm going to try and... Uh, resolve stuff like that. <clears throat> Menelaus of Sparta. We go ahead and fight these rebels straight away. <clears throat> Gonna go ahead and fight the battle as well. So if you, if you guys um, are enjoying the try, I am. <clears throat> it's a shame we have to restart that. You see, that's been an issue with myself and uh, Total War. Um, I don't think I've given myself enough leeway to understand the game and really retry and retry and retry, uh, unlike other games I've played. And that those games include Paradox games and other games that I've played over the years. So, yeah... 
going to have a lot of patience with this series. And like I said, the aim is to finish a campaign, and like I said, I've never done that before, so it'll be a first learning the game properly and stuff like that. I am excited. I'm very excited. Uh, you know, sometimes you just have a couple setbacks here and there, but other than that, nine times out of ten, you're okay. So that's fine, dry for deployment. Uh, these guys are on the uh, high ground. Um, I think I'm going to move some of these guys up there. So we're going to group those guys, group those guys. Then these guys can stay. So I want group one to come over here and push up there and around and then I want group two I want to come up and then Menelaus is gonna I've, 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 so basically between the fifth episode and the last episode where we failed I realized kind of like what I did wrong I thought in uh, episode five I might have to restart it but your hero is very important and so your ranged units uh, obviously, you don't have much cavalry in the game, um, so you have to work with what you've got well. We'll move those guys up, and then we'll, we'll move these two here. Menelaus. And take him up there. the natural features of this landscape. Gonna have Menelaus go up and engage So what I've learned is that you need to use like a lot of the movement of the slingers. has sighted your hidden units.
One of your units has no more ammunition. And what I've found out from doing a bit of research is that if your hero goes near range units, they dip. Nice one. Come back in here and fight, please. Slings are doing a good job. So the axes, obviously the swords and shields are a small unit. Warriors are losing heart. They're routed. Right, they'll continue with that. And then they should turn around and attack these guys. Menelaus is getting stuck in. The Aristea is a hero's finest moment. Your warriors are rallying. Right, nice, and then these guys come up to Arcas. Basically, I think that ability basically means like ranged units or any units will target him. Louder than insults. 
<clears throat> and this this battle's basically up. And there we go. Masters of war. Let's see blood. And then if we just increase it to where we kill the hero. There we go. <laughs> and the battle. Camdean, Costa's Dealy, all that jazz. Basically, the the diplomacy in this game, I always overthought. Like, just thought, oh yeah, it doesn't it doesn't really mean much, but it means quite a lot. So, I'm gonna try get to grips with that before we end the turn, as well as do anything in the building and stuff like that but yeah i hope everyone's having a good day i am stream went well today we streamed some eu4 from now on we're going to do eu4 twice a week and we're going to do minecraft twice a week with another random game that i decide to play on the day as the final weekday as we all know, there's only five days in a uh, in a week. So yeah. We killed off three units. Their hero almost, hero almost perished. And uh, their range units are almost dead as well. Uh, I'll get some food, some extra food. Stay together. New recruits can be trained to build up your forces and replace warriors lost in battle. This will be a long war. Victory, excellent. And then we can colonize you. So this is now part of the Spartans. So now I need to. <clears throat> he says he wants 12, so we will... Poor attack, but they are shielded. They cost over a thousand each, I think that's where I was going wrong. Uh, I should definitely... Maybe do young spears. No. We'll do some militia for now. Get those going. Or smelter in White Lawn, which is over here. Axemen. Let's have a look at those guys. So they're shielded. Okay. Because we don't have one of these, we will do one of those. Uh, this is going to be our farming place, but we can't do anything with it now. It's ruined at the moment. Your... 
have you sign here and then we'll do that I will not give up maybe if they're under our protection if they're in a settlement they get increased like recruiting time I remain so we will do that uh, royal decrees We'll do treasure hall. No, we won't. We will do recruitment cost. We have a look in diplomacy here. Quick deal, and we say non aggression pact. Talking with Sparta is in both our interests. Uh, and food, if we say five, no, um, 100, 95, no, not 195, 95, 90, 91, right, so we can get 90 food a turn for five turns, and a non-aggression pact. And then we both get military access. And then just exit the negotiation. <clears throat> non aggression parked, Pythonia. I'll hear what you have to say. And then They've got a ton of wood. So if we say like 50 wood, we'll let us take more. 75 is too much. 62, 63. So 62, we get 62 wood for five turns. Um. Non aggression pact. Intelligent discourses in both our interests. So these guys have a ton of food. They won't give 100 to us. Maybe 75? 74. 73? 72. There we go. Not a problem. Back out of here. Uh, non aggression pact. The Arcadians. We already have. They have Argos. I am interested in hearing what's on offer. Uh, they don't need wood. Twenty is way too much. Eight wood. Why not? A worthwhile discussion. Yeah, so basically, I was watching um, Lionheart play. And he just does this, and it works well because it gives him resources. That you get. I mean, from Diplomacy, we're at 162. From Diplomacy, 70. And stuff like that. So, now we speak to Argos. So it'll give us military access. But if we do a bar agreement, they don't want bronze. So maybe like 10, 12, 11. They will let us take 11 for five turns. So that's 50 bronze. Just from doing that. Uh, and then relationships will improve um, the Amazonians have taken on aggression pact 
If you had cherished more than Helen's beauty, I'd be better disposed to you. Things were... So then, if I go back into Diplomacy, right? I am at war with Tyrinus. I hope Menelaus is a better negotiator than he is a husband. So, we're only... At war with one guy, and he's a raider. Uh, but yeah, no, that's cool. Just having, trying to have a look here. Arcadia, what about? Pilos, they like us. We have a non-aggression pact. See, because I never read this. I never read any of this before. We already have a non-aggression pact. An agreement with Sparta. <laughs> we'll do a defensive alliance. And then they don't want bronze, so maybe 100 bronze per turn is too much. But we could have 50 bronze a turn, not 60. So it's 62 bronze a turn for 5 turns. Now we are all happy. So that's cool. Um... That's about military alliance. These guys are tech one. The guys we just spoke to. We could do a different buyer agreement. With more bronze. For us, anyway. So we could take 17 more bronze a turn. This deal is to my liking. Lovely stuff. Right, so that's diplomacy done. Your new ally offers support even before the battle lines are drawn. They will allow you to recruit warriors from their army to swell your own ranks. So Argos, if I'm just double check in. We have a non-aggression pact, military access. And we own... Ah, so this is my region. Right, okay. So we should focus on coming down here and attacking this guy. Unless I've got a fucking... Yeah, so, okay, so they're, they're the ones I'm at war with. But I couldn't see where they were. Okay. Ah! So they're on two settlements. One up here and one up here. Okay, yeah, that's fine by me. Um, absolutely fine. So I think... Yeah, I think that's uh, the end of this turn. That's absolutely fine by me. The first one, I think this one's going to be a little bit longer. And when I say a little bit, probably a, a lot longer than the original first episode or any of the episodes after that. I don't think half an hour cuts it. So this is our ally. Economic power week. Brute strength alone will not win this war. Issue a decree 
ordering your finest minds to research <coughs> methods of warfare, lest others overtake you. So we will get 150 food and 150 wood next turn. Flourishes and endures through military conquest alone. Grow and maintain your settlement through construction. Their resources can then be harnessed to serve the war effort. Okay, so upgrade a settlement and give us wood and stone. Will give you complete dominion over all who live there. Expand your holdings. And bring more of the Aegean under your heel. So basically, maintain control of one province. So to do that, we're going to have to take this guy. First things first, though, we are going to make this a farming village. With the wood. Always and Menelaus is just chilling. So if I have a look at like Sparta for example and we do the browser so when we get a citadel does that mean we can now unlock level 3 stuff and because we got a walled city we can get level 2 stuff so at level 3 And get a training camp, Lasonian, Lasonian swordsman, bowmen, renowned slingers, light spear runners, axemen, and hillmen, renowned bowmen, chariots. Yeah, this is this is gonna be cool. Can't wait to get stuck in. So. Um, let's have a look out, see what divine will is. The fates of men bestowing benefits and curses as they see fit. To be high in their favor is to be sure of success. Fall too low in their esteem, and you will suffer. So I've heard about the god stuff. So you build buildings and like shrines and stuff to make gods in your favor, right? So. So, Hera would give us 20% to missile damage of slingers. Recruitment cost down for all armies in provinces with 50% owned. Influence, construction time, wood construction cost growth. Influence, happiness, recruitment, melee attack on club units. Aries, recruitment capacity local, 20% morale to sword and axe units, uh, income from raiding, looting and sacking, happiness per war, 20% uh, attack, 10% charge, uh, and then there's Apollo, which is like archers, Athena, which is spear units. Poseidon, which is naval shit. <clears throat> and Aphrodite is like Diplo rep. 
so I guess Aries and I mean could you have can you have more than one at a time that's something we'll have to learn the prayer will provide its effects for four turns so favor decay per deck Decay per turn is minus 10. So if I do a head comb, which should give him 500 food, then shall we make this sacrifice? This will spend resources. So now we have 20% morale of sword and axe units in my own army. And then. Ooh! So it will drop down to 20, so it will go back to neglected, but then in Hetacum, it will put it 70 plus, so then it will go up to 90. And then minus 5, and it will just be under, but then the third time around, it will stay respected. So you keep these bonuses from the third time you do that. Okay. So apparently we killed like a hundred bulls. So in that case, see, favor of Zeus, you can build buildings like the altar of Dyke, which give infinite plus 70 favor of Zeus. So if we go back up here, so then that's uh, missile damage of javelins. Uh, melee attack of clubs. Okie dokie. That's good to know. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and end our turn again. So we've got an extra 750 wood, 500 stone. That's lovely. Uh, missions. Let's have a look. Most of the troops we've still got. We still need to get that. And that's going to happen over time. Issue of Royal Decree will happen when in, in three turns. So we'll get some food and some wood. And then a thirst for conquest is when we take this guy. We'll get, what, 700 wood. Okay. Sounds like a plan. So we can upgrade some more buildings. Stone houses will give us more growth. Um, build a quarry, so 52 stone per turn. Plus, then we get garrison for spearmen, warmonger. Axemen, militia, slingers, bowmen, and more slingers. See, we've got a lot of wood, so we can... I'm wanting to do the food. Cost wood, same amount of wood, and it gives us 160, which will keep our military going. It'll take two turns, so I'm pretty sure we'll start making food from that new upgrade when our negotiations stop. For Sparta. <clears throat> Uh, let's have a look. Excellent. Two-handed. These are the same, right? So we've got five of those. 
spearmen are a hundred per and a thousand. We'll get two extra spears. And then that'll do our mission. And this guy can't move whilst uh, we are training. Let's just double check everything in diplomacy. We've got non-aggression pact. Now, two more factions will take an aggression pact. I think one of them we can't. One of them's on Crete. And they're up here, north of the Pivos. So we'll go ahead and negotiate with these guys. Yes, we could, and I'm going to profit more than you, sir. So... 50? No, that's way too much. 20, 25, 30, 40? No, 35, 36, 37. So we can do 37, it'll give us 37 wood per turn for 5 turns. Add that to the offer. I'm happy with that. Nice. As am I. And these guys will become more fond of us. As we, so like, for the example, the Arcadians, it's improving. So, we've trespassed them before, but we've got treaties with everyone around him. We're in the same faction. And past treaties actually dealing with them, so that's improving, so that's nice. So they they want bronze. <clears throat> Could say fifty bronze to them, and then I take yeah, but that's fifty bronze for fifty wood is not exactly a good trade. But I will help him out. No hesitation. Help him out with that. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, I think it's just going to be end of turn again. See, what I've noticed from watching other people play is you can't rush it. You can't rush it, and I was rushing. Because I didn't read the mission properly, so I didn't realise this island south was part of my province. So, yeah. Making 1700 food a turn, and next turn we'll finish that mission. We can construct, we can rebuild that port, more food a turn, or we can add stone houses. <laughs> no amount of huffing or puffing will bring these houses down. Uh, yeah. I think stone houses is the way to go. We can't afford the boat strands now. What we could do though is get some light bowmen. Unlock those, that would be pretty cool. Uh, and then we end our turn. So you want to grow your provinces. So we've done this. We've got 300 food and then 100 bronze. Nice. Of your settlements reflects your growing reputation. Fully develop your capital. And it will project your majesty the length and breadth of the known world. 
upgrade any settlement building to its maximum level. So that's our new mission. And then King's Decree we'll get next turn. We'll have Menelaus come down to eat us. <clears throat> so that's in line of sight, so we can colonize that and we can colonize that as well. See, I don't know. Obviously, if you put the effort into those, they'll be worth it, but not for the moment the they're not. The See, I can afford it. We would be low on wood. But which one's closer? This one's closer, so we'll go ahead and colonize that. So, rumor has it that female creatures with a strange reputation inhabit this place. They might become formidable allies if we if we make it worth their while. These people. So that's cool. So that's now in our little sphere. And uh, would anyone like an aggression pact? Uh, just this guy on Crete. Yeah, we'll. We may as well speak now. Agreed. We'll have a non-aggression pact. For the time being. And then we'll break it when I need to go to war. When I decide to set sail to Crete. Um, these guys are still replenishing. It's absolutely fine. Anything else I can do? Not yet, but so let's end the turn. So some more food and some more wood there. Movement is the key, so recruitment cost to all light infantry units. So that's good. I think if we do Royal Stone. That's cool. And then... Happiness and more growth to the province. But we'll do boat strands for food. I've a to run. I will not give up. See now, I don't know. We do two boar units. 
Oh, and spears. They're very good units. But not worth it at the minute. Skirmishers. Take a unit of those as well. They'll be done in two turns. And then hopefully by that time, we'll be ready to set sail and take this province. And then they've also got this province as well. A foreign power seeks to ally with you. Argos. If it is to your advantage, accept the offer of a treaty. If not, then make your disdain clear. You see, I don't want them. They're very friendly with me now. Um, well, we'll agree to that. And they're going to walk in here. Yeah. So that's actually worked out rather well. Well... If you want me to give you 200 bronze, my friend. I would like some of your wood. Per turn. Is it not 17? 18. 19. 20. 21, 22, 23. So we could take 22. So that's like 100 wood. Lovely stuff. He's poisoning. He just poisoned my brother. Your military might grow, and with it, your influence and reputation. Yet your enemies rally against you. Make the effort to expand your fighting forces and keep the foe at bay. If you order your army to cross the sea, they will embark on ships. When Poseidon is with them, they may travel as swiftly as the wind. So, maximum strength. I remain undaunted. So it'll go up to 15, so I just need five more units, really. Do some more skirmishes, javelins. And that's good for me for the current situation. Build a quarry. Need a population surplus, so next turn I can make a citadel. Just want to double check. I can upgrade. Might be worthwhile to build this quarry because we don't have much stone coming in. Food per turn. But that's literally all my wood. Whereas this isn't. So we'll do that. And then we'll end our turn.
they won 120 bronze. Well, in that case, I would like some of your wood. I'll take some of your bronze to recoup what people have been taking from me. Who exactly is declared on me? The Isle of Crete have declared war on me. Why? Why? Oh, because well, okay. I don't know who exactly has even joined me in that war. Um, so I'm at war with Apperton. And Terrins. That's it. Okay. Well, my allies have joined me. So that's good. But I think I'm going to end today's episode. If you guys have liked the video, please do drop a like down below. Subscribe if you're new. And feel free to leave a, a comment or two down below. There's links in the description for my Twitch channel. So if you want to go check that out, I'm live Monday to Friday, half 11 a.m. British time to half past two in the afternoon. Uh, playing Minecraft and EU4 at the moment. At the moment, I do apologise. So yeah, feel free to check that out and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.